As promised, here is a virtual tour of part of the school. We'll start off by pointing out this wonderful rainbow that the key worker children have made. Um, you can see it from the road, from Frogmore Street. So if you're walking along there, have a look and you'll see the rainbow in honour of all of our care workers. Remember that letterbox, we'll come back to that in a minute. We go in. Mrs Spriggs is taking the opportunity to do some maintenance around the school. As you can see, she's spreading herself about into the, the library. And actually, all of these bookshelf, bookcases are having a thorough deep clean at the moment, which can only be a good thing. Mrs Titley has started a VE day display with a beautiful Spitfire painted by the children. I'm going to take you down to the staff area. Now, remember that letterbox on the wall? Well, actually, strangely enough, that comes into this cupboard. So when we get post delivered, it actually lands in this cupboard. This cupboard is known as Narnia. It's got some amazing old things like the old school logbooks, which are a fantastic read about things which took place in school years ago. Carrying on. My office, not particularly tidy at the moment. This is the teacher's planning room. You may not think it, but this is considerably tidier than it normally is. And we hope that these chairs will be filled with your teachers very, very soon. Ladies Lou. On we go to the staff room. Some of you may not have seen inside here before. Here it is. A very empty notice board. Normally that is absolutely packed with things that are going on in school. Very sad to see it so empty at the moment. A good message on the top there though. And then if we pop through here to the outside. A wonderful new shed which Mrs Spriggs has built which will please our buddies no end because they've been waiting for that for a very long time. And something you may not have known about, we even have an outdoor loo. Pretty much only used by myself and Mr Hall. That concludes our tour for this week. Hope you enjoyed, Mr Stanley.